All right, Shalom. I like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakodash. I like to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's work for elect, scattered abroad, teaching his word to serve the truth. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War, uh, back at you again with another show. Uh, this is going to be like an open forum. I don't really have anything planned. I don't have, uh, I wasn't meditating on anything either. But, uh, you know, I want to be in the spirit of the Lord, so, you know, I'm just going to speak. And um, may the Lord, you know, do the rest of the edifying, you know, edify you guys out there to hope for a leg around the world. And, you know, you know, first off, you know, I, like I say all the time before my videos, you know, I pray to see how about you, man, I was shy that this, that this word, you know, these videos that I do will be edifying to help build you up, you know, help you stay grounded in the truth give you strength, you know, because, uh, you know, how, you know, you, they say, uh, you know, your name's a nomen omen, and, um, you know, ties of war means, uh, siege, uh, strength, rock, you know, I like to look at those, those things on a positive note, all right, which is, uh, rock, strength, you know, so hopefully, you know, um, brothers, you know, stay strong in the spirit while we're in these latter days, and uh, it's a lot of things that's happening, you know, the scriptures say uh, the Lord's judgments go out every day, you know, people are dying every day, man, you know, and uh, children are being born every day, you know, but uh, this society, as Yahweh Shai said, he said, the fashion of this world shall pass away, all right, so that means that everything and how we live and where we live, it's all going to be changed, you know, and I can't wait for that, man, you know, because I want out, I want out of this, you know, I'll be glad when Yahweh shall return and change these things, you know, when things will be made perfect, because right now, we're in captivity, right now, we're still slaves, man, and it's a beautiful time to be living in because, you know, for the sake of truth, and, and for our kingdom to come in because, you know, Esau is going down. You know, they're at the verge of World War III. It's a lot of things happening. The uh, United States, they want to go into Iran. And we know that's, you know, biblical, you know. And we know that you're going to lose this one, you know, bad. To the point where your whole kingdom is going to be destroyed. And you would never be as a people, well, let's say you would never be as a proud people again. And that's talking to the Esau Edom, Edomites. You know, you don't know that this 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 go around is going to take away your whole blessing. You know, in which Isaac, you know, which we know through the Spirit is Yahweh Shai, he uh, he blessed Esau, his firstborn son, and he gave him a blessing that he shall have the fatness of the earth and to live by the sword. You know, he forced the blessing out of Isaac. You know, because uh, because Jacob supplanted Esau two times. You know, but that you know supplanting was was done by the heavenly Father. Because when you go back to the characteristics and the prophecy of which the Most High told Rebecca, he told Rebecca that the elder shall serve the younger. All right, it's like he said, one shall be stronger than the other. You know, uh, you know the Lord. So the Lord set up Jacob. Even though he came out second as the younger brother. But the point was, the Lord said the elder, which was Esau, that came out first. He shall serve the younger. Meaning he's going to serve Jacob. And that's ultimately in the kingdom. Okay? And the kingdom is going to be here on earth, man. You know, for a lot of these Christians out here that believe heaven is, um, you know, the heavens, the, the kingdom is in space somewhere. No, nah, it's in your prayer. As it is in heaven, here, uh, as it is in heaven here on earth you know you know you, you're saying it in your prayer you know bring the heavens and the order which you have established in the fourth dimension where you at lord and bring it here on earth because earth is also considered a heaven matter of fact it's one of it's the first heaven all right and then you got the second heaven which is space and then you got the third heaven which you call the fourth dimension is where the heavenly father room where no man can get to unless you die all right, unless the Lord require your spirit, because we all belong to the Most High, 
You know, even the heathens belong to the Most High. All right? The reason why you're alive in your flesh is because you have a fiery spirit inside you. You know, a spirit that, that made man. All right? That make man, that make the flesh move. And that's through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, it's these talks of uh, what's going on that Esau, uh, he wants to get up in the third, he wants to get up in the fourth dimension. You know, he wants to sit in the seat as the most high, as the scriptures say. You know, he wants to be as though he is the most high. You know, and this is one main reason why he want to implement and force RFID microchips. You know? Uh, what time is it? Three? And, uh, you know, this devil, man, you know, he one sick fellow, man. One sick dude, man. Uh, bear with me, Salakia. I got to do a quick run. I can't pause the show. Uh, you know what? I could come right back, though. All right. All right. Uh, had a little bit of interference, but I'm um, back. And um, like I was saying, is that, um, you know, these devils, they want to sit in the seat as the most high, you know? And why this is why they want to plant and implement RFID microchips, you know? And uh, you got a lot of these different Christians and even Hebrew Israelite camps, you know, those of the circumcision that uh, teaches that the mark of the beast is not the RFID microchip, and which it is. You know, some of these guys are paid off. Some of these guys are just ignorant. You know, some of them is just, you know, with pride because they don't want to be corrected by the apostles and elders and brothers, you know, that put forth this word and truth and sincerity, you know? So, you know, the Most High gonna have to do something, you know, but it's cool because it's written that way. You know, not all of us is gonna, um, you know, come together, you know? Not all Israelites are gonna wake up on this go around, you know? It ain't like before when we was in uh, Egypt. We was in Egypt and Moses was with us. And, uh, you know, Moses delivered all the Israelites, you know, there was some Israelites that stayed behind. All right. There was some, there was a lot of Israelites that left and there was a lot of Israelites that went back, you know, to Egypt because they didn't want to live in the wilderness, you know, and go through hard times when they had it kind of better when they was in Egypt, you know, they was looking back and they actually went back. But on this go around, you know, it's only about the elect, only the elect will be delivered. That's it, man. You know, just just the number that the Most High put together, and He numbered that number. You know, we have 144,000. All right, which is which is of men first. All right, you have a unnumberable multitude. You have one third. All right, what makes up the 144,000? But you know, the Most High has His number. He has His way. All right, because this is His world. All right, He created us and and put us into existence. So. You know, it's only right. And then on top of that, man, Yahweh, he uh, he put his name in us, you know, and especially out of Judah. Because the Hebrew word for Judah is uh, Yahweh, and that means Yahweh praise. So this is why you see the characteristics in Judah, you know, they always singing and praising God, you know. Always praise, Yahweh praise, all right? You know, most of Jake, they don't praise the Most High, and, and, it's, and it's truth, meaning calling upon his name, but, you know, they have that zeal. And like Paul said, not according to knowledge, man. You know, matter of fact, let me get that scripture, if I may. Not wanna. Let me grab a scripture here. I believe that's Romans 10, right? So let's see. Romans chapter 10 and 1. It says, brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to the Most High for Israel is that they might be saved. All right. So Paul, you know, his, his prayer for all Israel was that they be saved, man. Paul was a uh, was a light that was sent out for the for the uh, to the Gentiles. And uh, who are the Gentiles? Israelite foreigners. All right. Israelites who who didn't take on the customs and ways of being an Israelite. But in their flesh, they were Israelites. All right? In their spirit, they were Israelites. They may not have themselves. You know, these men, the Gentiles, they may not have manned themselves in the ways of the Hebrew Israelites at the time. They probably took on they took on the customs of, uh, of the land they was in. You know? Called themselves Greeks and, you know, Romans and, and 
whatever it else, you know, they was at, who Paul went to, okay, and what land they lived in. They didn't call themselves after the actual traditional uh, inheritance of what the Lord gave them as being Hebrew Israelites. And it's reasons beyond, it's reasons for that because the Most High scattered us, man. You know, and it was, it was perfect. You know, I'd like to say this, it was perfect. Perfect that, uh, that the Lord did that, you know, because check out today, 2019. Guess what? You woke up in this earth, in this time, all right, in this age, while Esau is ruling here in America, all right, and ruling in Europe, is that, uh, you was a Gentile, man. Meaning in a Gentile frame of mind. Okay? And you had to be retort. You had to wake up again. Alright? Scriptures say the prophets are subject to the prophets. So that means if you was a prophet before, you're going to be a prophet again. Alright? So you had to wake up again. So that means that all Israel became Gentiles. Alright? Not just the ones in the land. Alright? On this go around. Not just the ones in the land. And that were born, knew they were Israel Hebrews, you know, Hebrew Israelites and keeping the law perfect, you know, or whatever, you know. Nowadays, every one of us have became Gentiles, but we have woken back up through the spirit and power of the Lord's Holy Spirit. That's Rakakwadash, man. So it says, brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to the Most High for Israel is that they might be saved. It says... For I bear them record that they have a zeal of the Most High, but not according to knowledge. See? And a lot of our Israelites, well, a lot of our people, let me say that, because you're not an Israelite if you ain't calling yourself an Israelite. And matter of fact, it ain't even about calling yourself an Israelite if you're not walking in the ways of an Israelite. You still got this worldly mindset, and you still doing what the world do, and you infested, you know, you embedded into this world, you know, then you, hey, you're, you're a Gentile, man. All right? You're heathen to the Most High. You know, it's all about, uh, you know, how, how you manage yourself. It's, it's one thing about acknowledging, you know, who you truly are. But another thing is about how you manage yourself. You know, even he, even Israelites go off. You know, you can call yourself an Israelite. That don't mean you're going to be saved. You know, you could be a wicked as, you could be a wicked ass Israelite. No, you could be a wicked ass Israelite knowing that you're an Israelite. You could be a, a wicked ass person. Which is an Israelite, knowing he an Israelite, but be wicked as all hell. That don't mean you're gonna be delivered, because you know you was an Israelite. That ain't it. You gotta walk in the waves now. You gotta come back. You got you, you should know what's right and wrong, then, man. You know, a lot of jokers don't understand that. And this is why these rappers, you know, they like to quote it in their lines, but they marking themselves, man. I'm a Hebrew Israelite, you know, whatever how they say it, man. You know, and they don't realize that if you ain't walking accordingly, you're gonna be destroyed, man. Matter of fact, you got these men that I'm talking about. These men are doing rap videos, and they know that they're Hebrew Israelites. At one point in time, they taught on the street that they were Israelites. And these men are walking and doing, well, they're moving in the ways of Gentiles. It's like the niggas of our people. You know, it's one thing about being a nigger, and it's another thing about being a brother. You know, it's two different things, man. You know, you could be a nigger or you're a brother, all right? When you're an Israelite, you're either going to be a nigga or you're going to be a brother. All right? Straight up, man. So so you have these men that's 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 actually uh, doing what I'm speaking about. You know, guys that are Israelites that are clearly Gentiles. All right? Because they are manning themselves in the ways of the Gentiles. You know? You know, if we, were, if we, was, if we was to uh, clean up our act, that means we would have to destroy everything that exist today you know we have to destroy everything that's wicked you know you don't you know when here when here it is when um when israel you know uh uh reclaim you know our inheritance the lord give us back our land what are we going to do over there we're going to polish down and we're going to you know just leave certain monuments and things up that the heathens put up in our land Nah, we're going to burn that bitch to the ground man all right we're going to burn all that down and then we're gonna what refreshing it with the with the righteous uh, things to be put in the land, man. All right, to, to make the land of Israel holy again, you know, unto the Most High, because the Lord did say that was His favorite land, and He said, "What we as we are His people, you know, so we're His favorite people." And I'll tell you in Amos three, He said, "You as a family, you only have I known, 
of all the families of the earth. That's why I will punish you for all your iniquities. He's not punishing. Uh, he's not punishing Esau yet. He's not punishing um, uh, uh, Hamites. He's not punishing Elam and them yet. I mean, he bring terror upon them, but they ain't being punished yet. You know, it's a difference, man. Hey, the Lord jacked their ass up because he can. All right. But when the punishment starts is when we start to rule, man. When we rule the earth and you heathens go into slavery. That's when your punishment starts. It ain't started now, man. It's just the most high doing what he do. You know? So guess what? Our kingdom is just yet to begin. It's actually begun. But guess what? It's just through the spirit. You know? The word got to go out first. It's like how you send out orders. You know? You got to get that word out there before you go to war. You know? In the ancient times, what they used to do... They would send letters to each other, you know, or they'd send a messenger to carry the letter. And then, a, and then the, other, the other nation, they would know that, okay, we about to go to war. They, they want to stage a war. Then guess what? We will set up a time and place to go to war. So that means the word got to go out first. And then it's going to be the physical war when Yahweh Shah return. It's not going to be a physical war. Or a carnal war where we're going to pick up arms and guns and use uh, our enemy weapons. Nah, we're going to be the gods of the earth. Brothers going to have spiritual powers. The angels going to be fighting with brothers. Yahweh Shai, ultimately, the Lord and Savior, man. The begotten son of the most high. The firstborn spirit. He's going to be with us, man. Okay? That's, that, I can't wait for that, man. I'm getting amped up right now. You know? Let me get back, man. Because uh, it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be a beautiful takedown of Esau, man. Rightfully done in a perfect fashion. No, not, not too late, not too soon, man. The Most High is perfect. The scriptures say, uh, what's that, Peter's? He said, what? The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. And what is the promise? The promise is salvation to the Israelites, man. The promise is the salvation to us elect, which I hope to be a part of, man. You know, like King David said. You know, he wouldn't, as long as he, you know, as long as he, be, hey, if, if, if he just be a doorkeeper, you know, he want to be a, the elect, man. And that's King David. He's coming back to be the king again. <laughs> that's how you know the Lord love, uh, love us, man. Because he, he, uh, he, he going to make King David king all over again, man. You know, that's, that's beloved, man. That's truly being beloved of the Most High, and I would rather be beloved of the Most High than to be, be than, than to be beloved of men. Okay, it's good to be hated on this side because Yahweh Shai works prove our faith. It was because he was, uh, you know, not be uh, beloved of his people. We're not going to be beloved of our own people. He was hated. We're going to be hated. Yahweh Shai's life proves that, man. All right. So I so me personally, I would rather be beloved of the Most High. And Yahweh Shai Than to be beloved of men Straight up man You know Because when Yahweh Shai get back He gonna set everything in order man He the top dog Alright You know He gonna put everything in order He gonna get us in order He gonna fix us up man He gonna fix our bodies man You know He deals with order man Just like how our apostles teach us Alright With order Which is the Hebrew word Iraq Order 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 The Lord is not an author of confusion As the scriptures say all right, he set things in order. There's an order up in up in heaven, in the fourth dimension, spirit realm. All right, where the spirits go in their chambers. There's an order up there. You think they just running around freely with a with different nationality spirits? No, man. Every spirit uh, pertains to a particular nationality, and they're sectioned off, man. All right, and they're, and they're put in their place. Okay, they're put in their place, man. So uh, let me get back, man. This is uh, Romans, Romans chapter ten and two. It says, "For I bear them record that they have a zeal of the Most High, but not according to knowledge." All right, not according to knowledge. You know, you can have a zeal. You can um, you can uh, you know, have this zeal, you know, this belief in a higher power. You know, that's beautiful. Not a lot of people even, get, not a lot of people can even grab that, man. They can't even hold that, just believing in a, in a higher power, you know, because they got too much pride, too much wickedness going on in themselves. You know, they, they life ain't going too swell. So it's like, well, if there was a God, why haven't he did this? Why didn't he do that for me? Why did he kill my niece? Or, 
whoop de woo whoop de woo you know? But guess what? The scriptures say, I bear them record that they have a zeal of the Most High, which is beautiful, but not according to knowledge, meaning you don't have the true knowledge of the Lord. And we tell you over and over, the true knowledge of the Lord in one thing, in one of these things, is that the Lord hates, man. And you can't get over that. That's baby. That, that's, 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 you know, children can get over that, you know? They can receive that more than a grown man. Yeah, that's, that's a shame. You know, children, man, young kids can understand that the Lord will hate because, you know, it's, it's, it's we hate at some times, you know? We love, too. We hate, we love, we get sad, we get mad, we get upset, we get excited. You know, we all in that, you think the, the Lord doesn't have these emotions? You think the Lord wouldn't have these prefaces? Look, 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 at, look at the diverse of people. Come on, man. Look at the divide, the diverse of people and look at the diverse of, of plants. Look at the diverse of animals. Look look at the way some of them shape. Look at the certain uh, fishes in the sea that's in a deep, dark ocean. All right, at the bottom. When they come up and surface or when Esau go down there and start flicking their cameras on, you start seeing creatures that look weird, man. So come on, man. You think the Lord not going to have his preference? You think the Lord can't? Love one, love this and hate the other. Come on, man. He's a power for real, man. Why you think we able to do that? But you people out there, you in that Christianity shit, that uh, Chris, that uh, slavery doctrine, that shit leads to your destruction, man. You loving somebody that killed your mother. You loving this Edomite, which slaves you every day and still to this day. What that, what the wild to say? To this day, you know. Because to this day, you still loving your oppression. You supposed to hate your enemy, man. What the hell are you talking about? Don't you know in the ancient times, if you dig in history, and when we went, we warred against different nations, we slaved them. We took their land, we took their resources. So it ain't nothing new that uh, these elites are doing to these other nations. They doing what what they supposed to do, being heathens, you know, being them devils. But guess what? You know, we're going to have all you heathens into captivity, man. You know, and it may seem like, you know, that's kind of far-fetched. That's kind of too much, um, uh, what they say, what's the word, uh, uh, exaggerated, maybe, you know. <laughs> but guess what? That's reality, man. According to the Holy Scriptures. According to the Holy Scriptures, man. All right? I didn't make this up. It says, uh, Romans 10 and 3. For they being ignorant of the Most High's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of the Most High. Okay, so it says, for being ignorant of God's righteousness. All right, ignorant means to not know. You don't know the Most High's righteousness, man. You got Hebrew Israelite camps. You got those of the circumcision, those that know that they're Hebrew Israelites, out teaching but they're not teaching that our people are scattered and amongst the other nations. They may say it, but guess what? They don't accept it. You know, because the scriptures say it, man. All right? The scriptures clearly tell you that we are scattered. And we are amongst all the lands wherever the Lord put us, man. Okay? And we're shaming the Lord wherever we go. Because we're not knowing who we are. Not following in which the Lord set up to, set, us, set us up to follow. And that's to be of who the nation is. The of being Hebrew Israelites, man, and the customs and the, and the ways of the laws that the Most High gave us. We're not following that. So we're shaming the Lord, man, okay? And um, they're not even uh, uh, accepting, confusing the faces, you know? You know, because they're carnal Israelites. They're not the uh, spiritual Israelites that can discern anything. You know, they're spiritually discerned, man, you know? Because they can't get past a face. You know, because the face may not look like a, a brown, light brown, dark brown, you know, melanin type skin. You know, they see a, a blue eye and blonde hair and just say, that's the enemy. Well, you got to judge the spirit by the spirit, man. If this if this individual that looked like an Edomite with blue eyes and blonde hair and he believe, then you got to say, well, hey, that's the that's of the Lord's work. You, these guys, man, I just said this, man, in an example, man. The Lord is very diverse, man. 
And the Lord is not one way. He's so many ways that we can't even imagine. You know, you think the Lord could, could give up, he could create all of these different type of species, weird looking species. Man, look at, he got insects, man. Species that are so small in this big ass world. Think about that, man. You got creatures, you got insects that are so small. Ants, man. And this is a big ass world. Big ass world. And speeches that is that small, man. That's the most high's work, man. So you mean to tell me the Lord can't make an Israelite look like another nation? That's easy work. What they say, what they say in um um basketball, what they be saying, niggas, that group they be like, that's easy work. That's easy, you know, getting souped up, you know, because why? That shit ain't nothing, man. I mean, what, what man, oh, the scriptures say, nor I nor ear have heard what's in store for the children of Israel, man. Roughly paraphrasing, for the elect, man. So we don't even know what to imagine what the Lord is going to do for us in the kingdom. Now, we can assume, you know, we can go off of what was told to us through Yahweh Shai. You know, through the scriptures, you know, we all, Paul, he spoke about new bodies. Yahweh Shai told us about the many mansions, you know, so we can speculate. Oh, yeah, we can speculate all day long. But do we know in its entirety, do we know perfectly of what's in store for us? No, because it's going to be that magnificent, man. It's going to be that unique. It's going to be that, um, it's going to be that wow, but beautiful. All right, that wow, it's going to be wowed. But beautiful, man. You know, perfectly in order. Man, uh, all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. I can't wait to get the fuck up out of here, man. You know? Uh, this is Romans chapter 10 and uh, 4. For Yahweh Shai Mashiach is the end of the law for righteousness. Uh, excuse me. For Yahweh. Let's, let's read 3 again. For they being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness. And that's what's wrong with Jake, man. This is why you're going to meet your demise and you're going to die in a grievous fashion. You know, being shot down ain't shit, man. Being shot by a bullet, bullet to the head, that ain't shit compared to what the Lord is going to do to you people, man. The scriptures talk about he's the king of terrors, man. You know, I, man, let me call him Alasaija, all right? Demon-like power, man. Alasaija. All right, because the power that the Most High has is demon-like, because He controls the demon side, He controls the righteous side, man. It's all spirit, man. Okay, you want to call him magic? He is magic, man. All right, He is the spiritual power. All right, He's nothing but the spiritual power. He's everything. All right, if you want to be technical, He is everything. He's everything. That's why His name is I Am. I Am, man. Okay, Yahweh, man. It says, um, for they being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness. And Jake, love that shit, man. You love, love to call things for yourself, all right? But it says, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of Yahweh. You won't submit yourself, but it's cool. You know, everybody got to play their part. You know, I, I, I will submit myself, all right, while you don't submit yourself. And we'll see who's going to win in the end. We'll see who, the, who, who will have mercy and the evil times, all right? You know, the most I all, you said that a few times through the scriptures, man. You know, you know, like um, he said, uh, you know, let your God save you in that day. You know, if, if you know, uh, eat, eat of your own fruit. You know, uh, what's that in Proverbs, the first chapter, he tell you, eat, uh, let them eat of their own fruit. You know, meaning let them eat of their own way. Let your way, let's see if your way will prosper in the day of the Lord's wrath. Let's see, all right? It says, um, verse 4, For Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believeth. All right? So that does that mean that the law, this is for the Christian. It's for you, vocab. I know you're listening now. You came up on that uh, premiere, but I think you deleted your damn your, uh, your comment. I'm not sure. I saw it, and then when I refreshed the page, I couldn't see it no more. You know, I did the response video that Apostle Tahar told us brothers to do. I did that uh, Monday. And uh, I think it was on the 13th. And I put it up. I put it up quick, man. I put it up during the day. And, um, you know, I walked away, but I premiered it. I premiered it. You know, so it could get some light, get some, get some light to it, you know. Like, like if you're going live, it's a good way to, uh, uh, it's like a, you know, pre-done live video. Like, bro, you know, you still see comments. You can chime in with, with the uh, people, the brothers, 
you know, whoever want to chime in into the video. It's a good way to, uh, you know, get the workout. It's all about pushing this work, man. And uh, I, you, 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 you respond, man. You said, uh, you said on there, you said, um, you said, um, uh, 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 have a good afternoon or something like that. And then when I refreshed the page, the shit was gone. I'm looking for this shit again. Then I'm gonna got mixed up because I premiered it on two different channels, and now I'm mixed up. I can't figure out which channel was it. But it's like, did he delete it? You know, did you delete your comment? Well, that question is for you, my man. You know, what is the mark of the beast, man? All right. You know, and then also too, another question for your ass is that, you know, Yahweh did Yahweh Shai, uh, 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 did Yahweh Shai um, uh, destroy the law? Because it clearly says you didn't. You know, a lot of you Christians in Christianity, you teach that you can do whatever you want. You say that God, you say that Jesus died for your sins, so this is why you can eat pork. That don't even make sense. Why would a man die to break the most high laws, the heavenly father laws, so that you can do whatever the fuck you want? That don't even make sense. Excuse my French, man. You know? You know how you guys are so feminine. You're going to take that and go, oh, why you got to curse like that? That's when I stopped watching because he used the profanity. You guys got to man up. If you ain't manning up now, you ain't going to man up. You ain't going to be able to man up, man. You better gird up thy loins. Hey, vocab alone, you in trouble too, man. <laughs> you in trouble too. All this bickering and back and forth, coming against the apostles, coming against Great Millstone, coming against the Hebrew Israelites, period. You know, what you going to do when they implement the RFID chip and they force it? I know you're going to take it willingly. But what happens when, when uh, Jacob's trouble come? When Jacob's trouble come, oh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to go down for you other nations. It's, it's trouble for you, too. You're not going to be at ease. But you're going to be up in a penthouse somewhere, somewhere in a skyscraper with the elites. I think not. You're a pawn, man. You're a puppet, man. They're using you, man. That's why you're an agent. You, 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 you're going to take the fall for them. You're just an idiot, man. All right? You pick up a job for these devils to curse us out, to make it your life, and platform to get money, you know, try to use the Hebrew Israelites to come up off of the most high gonna smash you like a bug man he gonna allow he gonna allow your people to destroy you first that's what's gonna cut you in the inside and then the most high gonna destroy you from the outside man you stupid idiot you fucking with <laughs> excuse me man. you messing with the power man all right of your how about shimmy how shy man straight up man you know your days is numbered all of you not just the vocab but all of you guys man that scoff the word of the Lord and that, and that misuse the prophets, you know? So, hey, you know, that's it. I'm going to leave it at that. I could keep going, but I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Havashai, Bahashim Rakakadash. I'd like to give double honors to my apostles and held as a great millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching his word sincerity and truth. Shalom.